Bill Genova is a tour guide in Toronto. He is also an avid amateur historian who claims that visitors to the city who take his tours leave knowing more about Toronto than most Torontonians. Among the more than 30 tours offered on his website are a walking tour of ethnic food stores and a van tour that takes his customers to several ethnic food stores in different parts of the city. I retired 15 years ago, but after five years of playing golf, I finally said, what do I want to do with the rest of my life type of thing? And what are you going to do when you grow up? Maybe I could do walking tours because there was only one person doing walking tours at that time. So I developed a, a walking tour as I now do over 30 of them. I have 300 books on Toronto. I have five filing cabinets. I belong to the Ontario Heritage This and the Historic That. And each day, I challenge myself to learn something new about Toronto. And the bonus is, I get to walk and exercise is what you're supposed to do. Well, young people are more interested in going to the disco or the dance hall or go drinking or something like that. It's only when you get older that you sort of become nostalgic. Let's say over 40 is a good sort of the minimum age. I developed a van tour. Anybody over 40, because they're interested in, gee, I grew up in this neighborhood, but I never knew this existed. So those kinds of discoveries, I hope to help people discover right under their nose, as it were. Toronto, as you know, is a multicultural city. Uh, I mean, you've probably seen the change growing more and more dramatically over our lifetime. And it started to change with the Italians who came after World War II and large numbers of Italians came here and they built up the community. They actually built the city in many, many ways. You probably go to Greek town and you eat things like souvlaki. You may even go to Bronsonsveld and have pierogies. And what I'm going to show you is products that 10 years ago you wouldn't have been on your table and now are on your table. So why don't we go ahead? I think it was particularly interesting to go on this tour because Bill knows about many of the different foods and I think that's really interesting when you go to a new store so you can find out what things are yeah. and what you do with them. Some of the produce that we saw today in particular I'm really excited about trying myself. Oh, yeah. yeah. I will talk to people and they say what do you think the second language of Toronto is and they go oh it's French. Well. There's 25,000 French, there's 400,000 Chinese. 